Well, there are 35,000. Oh, he's going up my sleeve. <laughs> 3,500 snake species that fascinate you, or, you know, there's the whole unknown. Where are you going, Dante? Just wait until we come out here live. Okay, so finding snakes, not too difficult, right? Among the species, only about 600 are venomous. Right. Not, not including Dante, right? But there are. Completely fine. <laughs> they, they have constrictors like the ones I got here. The world's smallest snake is the Barbados thread snake. It's only about four inches long. In comparison, the longest snake is the reticulated python, and the heaviest is the green anaconda. In and honor of this day, we are teaming up with. Kate Turner and Saving Scales Reps. <laughs> Where are you going, Dante? I'm bringing him back in. I got to wheel him back in. Come here, bud. Where are you going? He really wants to hide. I'm going to put you down for a second. All right. Come here, Dante. Over this way. Okay, so they're, they're trying to help raise awareness about incredible creatures like these. This is Hydra. And uh, Kate, so tell us about the rescue and what <laughs> you're doing, Nick. It. So we're essentially, think Humane Society for Reptiles. We okay. work with the same reasons that somebody might drop a dog and cat off at the shelter. Uh -huh. They can, people are moving, they can't take them with them. So we end up getting their snakes, their lizards and whatnot. And we are that safe space while they try to find a new home. So uh -huh. these guys came in from one reason or another. And they're actually part of our education team because they're great out in public. But we love taking our adoptable animals out to events and showing people how cool having these guys as a pet can be and how it might actually be a really great fit for mm -hmm. their home and lifestyle. So you're looking for people who want to wrangle there snakes as it were. I got them. Sort of, yeah. He's back. <laughs> they can make great pets as long as you know what you're getting into. Right. So something like Dante here, who's a Mexican black king snake, is going to be more active. So maybe clearly, not... thank you, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe not the greatest idea if a cat or a kid decides to like, oh, I'm going to set that on the couch and walk away and grab a snack. No. Maybe not a great idea. Uh, if you want something slower and less likely to uh, squiggle off, Hydra, the ball python, could be a great option. But you want to make sure that you know what those long-term care responsibilities are going to be because you could end up with somebody like Apollo here who's only about half grown. Mm -hmm. He's about seven feet now as a Burmese python. He'll probably end up being about 12 feet altogether. So you really have to be prepared for those long-term care requirements. Requirements. Man, oh man. Now, the snake, you, you said that the snake thinks of us as its electric blanket, mm -hmm. right? It's not so much that they're like, oh, I love you. You're my best friend mm -hmm. and I want to give you hugs. Like, You're warm. They're cold blooded creatures. They really oh. want to be in a warm, safe space, which is why Dante, my Dante keeps, heading, is... keeps heading up your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because he loves me. Mm -hmm. it's, right. like, it's a cave. I love it. So, in your advice or in your opinion, what's the best breed of snake to have at home? The best species to start out with, especially if you're a new keeper, is something in the colubra family. So like the king snakes, milk snakes, corn snakes, they're very easy to find. They're very good feeders and they're very handleable. Or the ball python as well. Those are great starter animals. They don't get too big and they're easy to take care of and maintain. Okay, now we're holding snakes here because it's, you know, it's the one that gets the eye. But what, <laughs> is the, what are the other things that come to the shelter? We get all sorts of things in. Uh, we have a lot of bearded dragons and leopard geckos. All those things that you find at the pet stores. Again, they can't go mm -hmm. into your typical animal shelter. Mm -hmm. You can't put these guys in a cat cage there. Shelters do a great job for dogs and cats, but mm -hmm. we're that next safe spot. So part of your mission is to, is to rehome these animals, right? Absolutely. We did about 200 adoptions last year. We're at a little over 100 so far for this year. So okay. it's an active placement program. How do they contact you? They can reach out to us by email or by phone. Um, our website is savingscalesmi.org. Savingscalesmi.org. Has okay. anybody noticed that Brian Sherman is gone from the studio? What do you say we go say hello? I can go find him. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure where Brian is. I'm going to go find him. <laughs> All right. Say bye to Dante.